So why this gun? It's not just because I think it looks pretty cool, but also it's the, the lightest PCP in serial production on the market right now. And one more thing, I wanted to go for a cheaper gun, I'm fully aware that not everyone can afford the high-end PCPs I usually shoot on my channel. And this one is definitely not going to break the bank, especially now with the huge Black Friday deals available on the AAA Airguns shop and all the rest of the Wolfie Group online stores. Being a loyal customer, I got word of the upcoming discount several days in advance, the gun was delivered to me this very morning and I just couldn't wait to give you beautiful people watching my channel a first glimpse of my new pest control tool. If you're in the market for a new loyal girl to add to your collection, or the various accessories that go so well with her, check out those websites, you might just find the right one for you. Ok, let's get on with it. The gun weighs only 1.3 kilos or 2.8 pounds and for an obvious reason, as you can clearly see, it's mostly made of carbon fiber. Of course, there are those bits and pieces that are made of high-grade aluminium and ever so unavoidably steel, such as the rifled barrel for instance, which is 406 mm long, has 10 grooves, and is made in-house by AEA themselves. This lower section here is also made of aluminium and so is the trigger guard and the trigger blade itself, which I just love, I must admit I hate plastic trigger blades. And talking about triggers, this one is not adjustable I'm afraid, so don't be fooled by those three bolts right here next to it. However, I must say it's very nice and predictable and has a short travel which definitely makes for better accuracy. The gun is not only lightweight but compact too, you could already see we have a folding stock here. This one is the second generation of the element, the version with a larger tank, 380 cubic centimeters volume. The larger cylinder also means there's room for a reg in there, and that's exactly what I have in my rifle. You can adjust the reg by degassing the gun via this hex screw on the front plug, taking the reg out and rotating this dial clockwise to decrease the working pressure and counterclockwise to increase it. Needless to say, playing with the regulator will require some time and a reliable chronograph as well. The manometer gives a nice and clear indication in both bar and PSI. Maximum fuel pressure of the cylinder is, wait for it, 350 bar. I'm not sure how exactly you would reach that pressure, but it's good to know this thing is so durable. However, my advice would be to not go that far, I think that would stress the entire mechanism too much. The fuel port is protected by this cap and the gun comes with a fuel probe of course. The shroud looks awesome, it's made of carbon fiber that's clearly visible and there are some baffles inside to quiet the gun down, it's also removable so make sure you don't lose them when and if you disassemble. Airstyle pistol grip, nice and soft to the touch, some stippling on it and the company logos there too. Picatinny rail, definitely a better option than a dovetail. Bolt action and the bolt moves nice and smoothly, which was a pleasant surprise for a gun of this price tag. 10 shot magazine in 25 cal, to load it you rotate the plexiglass cover, insert the first pellet from the front and then the rest of the pellets from the opposing side, which is not something uncommon in the world of fair guns. But at this point you'll notice something that looks a bit weird at first. It's like there's a second cocking lever there. Let me elaborate. You cock your rifle the usual way and then for some reason you can't take that shot. You wanna decock your gun and that's what this straight pull lever does. It allows you to decock your rifle and then cock it again without indexing the magazine and loading a second pellet in the barrel that may potentially damage your gun in more than one way. Safety is on the right side and you can only engage it when the rifle is cocked. Apparently what it does is completely block the trigger. And last but not least, power adjustability. There is a power wheel again on the right side of the gun. It regulates the cross section of the transfer port, which is fully open when those two red indicators are in line, thus giving you the highest power level the element is capable of. Depending on the reg working pressure too, of course. So that was my brief review of the AEA Element 2, and certainly not the final one. I'll run some tests in order to see what projectiles the gun shoots best, and then I'll get to see it in action very soon doing what my air guns usually do. 
Go Pests. See you soon, everyone.